my opinion, there are three trends that are reshaping the apparel manufacturing landscape. I will go number one, will be redefining the manufacturing corridors. Traditionally, China has been the factory of the world. This is changing for several reasons, for geopolitical tensions from the tariff, but also because China was not very interested in being in low value adaptivities. So new hubs like Bangladesh, Vietnam arise very quickly. More important, but the brands are pushing the contract manufacturing to have local princes in all these continents. So now you are expecting contract manufacturing. They will have a factory in Morocco, in Nicaragua, in Honduras, in Bangladesh and in Vietnam. That is expected. Number two, I think, is the use of advanced technology. Artificial intelligence, but also robotics, anything that is positioning all this manufacturing activity with a competitive advantage. There are some brands who are creating a manufacturing digital maturity index and ranking all the contract manufacturing based on how digital they are. And number three will be sustainability, circularity. Apparel has been traditionally a very polluted industry. Today, they are responsible for 10% of the greenhouse gas emission. Definitely something that is changing. When you go to visit one of my clients' factory, they don't take you to the factory. They will tell you first to the biomass power plant, to the water recycle plant. They are very proud of that. So they truly want to focus on sustainability. Well, AI now is helping every aspect of manufacturing. Specifically, I will say it's more on the demand forecasting, predicting inventories, finding the best scheduling right, for all the seaweed lines, all the mills, um, and optimizing the change over the schedule. Some of my clients, they even go beyond this advanced planning system, this AI, they go into digital twins. My clients are using for basically reducing the lead time for sampling from weeks into days. They can truly estimate the material usage, they can truly estimate the cost, and you can have sampling much, much faster. I think they need to focus on three things. Number one is the centralization of their operations. Before it was about global sourcing, having a huge operation in Bangladesh or in Vietnam or Sri Lanka. That is not longer the case. Brands are pushing you to open factories in India, in Honduras, in Nicaragua, and make sure that you are resilient enough to fit their needs any place in the world. Number two, I will say about vertical integration. Some of my clients they even buy the cotton from the US and they control the whole supply chain, traceability, quality, and to them. The number three, I will say the strategic supplier relationships. When you were able to deliver on quality, on time, it was cost question. Now the brands are creating a strategic relationship with some of the suppliers. One of them, for example, is building a windmill park to produce green energy to the, to the, to the contract manufacturing. And that creates a long-term relationship that is very much appreciated in this changing world.